Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're playing the Lord of the Rings theme, or specifically the tune called Concerning Hobbits, from the beginning of the film where they're still in the Shire. I thought I'd do this one well because it's a lovely tune, sits well on the harmonica, and also because I'm famous in my family for having hobbit feet. They're wider than they are long. Check them out, they're minging. <sighs> really weird. If you enjoy this lesson today, please click like, please share with your friends, and most importantly, do subscribe to my channel because I put out a free lesson every single week. So on the soundtrack, this is in the key of D, but I'm going to play it on a C harmonica today, just because some of you might only have a C harmonica. If you want to play along with the original soundtrack, grab your D harmonica to play with that, but we're going to use a C harmonica today. So, we've just got four lines to get through, and it's all based around really holes four to seven, okay? So quite basic, there's no bends involved. If you're an absolute beginner, this will suit you well. So let's get started with line A, and it sounds something like this. So hopefully you recognise that from the tune. I think it's played on a flute on the original, if I remember rightly, but we're going to kind of transpose it onto the harmonica here. And the tab we've got is four blow, four draw, and then five blow, six blow, five blow, four draw, four blow. Okay. And then line B... Okay, so the tab for line B, we've got five blow, six blow, ooh, six draw, and then seven blow, seven draw, six blow, five blow, five draw, five blow, four draw. And that bit at the end, you're quite quick from the five blow to the five draw to the five blow again. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there we go and quick down to the four draw at the end of that line as well. So line B in full again. Now if you're a beginner, think about getting those notes as clean as possible. If you're an intermediate player, maybe think about a bit of vibrato on some of those notes. Line A and B together would sound something like this. Isn't that nice and peaceful? I really like this tune. It's really kind of, makes me picture the Shire. I'm not a big Lord of the Rings kind of fan, but you know, it's, it's a lovely tune. Okay, line C is, uh, well, we're almost back to line A, but it goes something like this. So it's basically line A with a little bit added in the middle. So we've got four blow, four draw, Five blow, six blow, five blow, four draw, just as just as we have uh, on the line A. But then we've got four blow, four draw, four blow to finish. So we've got. Now the reason I'm saying there's a bit added in the middle and not a bit ad bit added at the end because you could actually just say there's two notes at the end of the line. The reason I'm not saying that and I'm saying there's a bit added in the middle is because musically it kind of is a bit in the middle that's added even though the tab is just two notes on the end. We're not playing rhythmically the same as line A and then adding two notes. We've got that da 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 that kind of bit in the middle where it kind of jumps down, so. From the five blow, we've got that kind of little jump down the notes, so it's actually stuffed in the middle there of, of that line. And then line D, our final line, and then we'll have a go at playing it in full, sounds something like this. Now there's a note in brackets, so we're going to talk about that at the end, but I'll just give you the tab including that note for now. So we've got five blow, six blow, six draw, and then six blow, five blow, five blow, four draw, and then five blow, four draw, four blow. Sorry, four blow, four draw, four blow. Um, okay, so I'll play it again. Uh, 
Okay, so what am I doing with that note that's in brackets near the end of that line? Well, you could leave that note out. I mean, on uh, a flute, as I say, I think the original would be on. I should double check that. Um, someone will tell me. The different instruments allow different ways of approaching playing something. And what they've done there is they've kind of just skipped a note in, in between playing that four blow note or for us a C note, for, for them it would be a D note, playing that note, it kind of flickers back up to another note. That's a feature of the music. Now, the closest we can get to that is by just skipping a little four draw in there. Blow, draw, blow, blow, draw, blow, blow, draw, blow. So you could leave it out. You could just hold one four blow. So instead of that, those last three notes, four blow, four draw, four blow, you could just hold a four blow and that would work. So you could go. Because it is the resolving chord and the resolving note. Um, it's just that on the original they do that. Da -da -da. So I thought I'd try and put that in in our tab. But if you want to just leave that note out, fine. If you're a beginner, probably maybe easier if you leave it out again if you're an intermediate especially with this last note you might want to put some vibrato or technically tremolo because on a blow note you can't get a true vibrato or a very deep vibrato so that's our line d let's have a go at playing the thing in full i'm going to count us in on four see if you can join in with me one two three four If you've enjoyed this lesson today, please click like, share with your friends and most importantly subscribe to my channel because I put out a free lesson every single week. I'm going to be back next week with another free harmonica lesson. This lesson was a request. I take requests so please if there's a song or a technique you would like to learn, you can get in touch with me and request it and I try and get through as many of your requests as possible. You can put a comment beneath the video stating your request or you can email me contact at learntheharmonica.com or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, search for learntheharmonica.com on those social media outlets. I'll be back again soon. Until then, please enjoy your practice and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh.